and welcome back to our survival. And it's definitely not uh, after our, um, well, my space engineers crashed, and definitely not a week later, and after several welder grinder incidents, but let's not look at that. So, what are we going to do today, guys? Well, it was actually um, mining gear failure that caused um, all those bodies to appear. So, <laughs> you guys need to learn how to use the miners. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, we need to go mining. That's right. Alright, so... Yeah. Uh, what do we need to go for? Well, um, I would suggest some ice, so we can, like, you know, breathe. Yeah, um, what's our oxygen levels at, anyways? Low. <laughs> low. Um, how low? How low. And we also need some Nakuda. Uh huh. Okay. Which is that strange element that you did not know what it was? Okie dokie. Um. So that's what we need to go in mind. So what are you going to do, Coromus? I'm gonna show you. I don't know. Um. How to not die. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Just bump him, you'll get out eventually. Mage, put on your jetpack. Just kill him. I wish I could. There we go. Alrighty. Uh, can we maybe put on a policy of closing the doors behind you, especially for the airlock? Well, last man out. Yeah. Basically. Right. Okay. Um, take out your miners. Vroom vroom. Hehe. <laughs> and as you will notice, these, um, well, rather simple miners can detect ores, which we might need to survive. Ah, that's interesting. Try not to mine each other because these will poke holes in spacesuits. Uh, that might be a good idea. Okay, so mate, stay at least a thousand meters away from me. Okay. Are you saying that he's um a danger? I'm a bitch. I'm he, a yeah. <laughs> Any sort of pokey thing, he gets um. A bit gung ho, if that's the right word to use here. J Lo, uh, what is Trinium, by the way? Um, Trinium is an element that uh, the generators are built out of. Ah, so should should we get some more of this then? Yes, please do if you find it. Oh crap! Uh. Oh, and didn't you say that uh, the Nakura generators are offline because we don't have any more Nakura in them? Mm, kind of, something like that, yes. Alright, so uh, we do have... you do have a uranium-powered reactor, if I can remember as well. So do we need to get uranium? Yeah. Yes, we, we do have a backup generator that is powered by uranium. Oh, okay. None of that the, should be the lowest priority. None of the main reactors are that because they're just not powerful enough. Ah, I see. So that's on the bottom of our priority list. Well, if we don't find Aquila soon, we're maybe gonna have to get some uranium just to stay alive. Maybe. Yes, if you see some, get it. Okay, good. Because when I checked the power log for the station, we were at four hours, I believe, uh, at power level, so we don't have a lot of power left. Okay, well, I'm gonna go perform a lever. Long range. A vehicular. A vehicular long range, okay. Lever. Long range, extra. Wait, is it extra? 
Well, we don't really have any vehicles, so I don't know how you're gonna do that. Yeah, that's... Ooh, ice, 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 baby. Ice, ice, baby. Ah, that's stern. That's not what I want. Extra, be extra. Extra. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny to listen to him sometimes. I was gonna say, he's trying to figure out what EVA is. Yeah. Or external vehicular activity. Doesn't matter! <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh boy. Poogle. Oh yeah, Poogle, I remember. Wait, do you guys have Poogle? Oh, hi mage. Uh, what, what was our rule? <laughs> ah. Those must be broken. N no. That that's that's not what. Okay. Um. Broken. I must warn you, since um you're technically in my military um area. Yes. If you break any rules, you will get punished in oh, wow. a military way. Uh, well, you, you don't have to worry about me, but uh, I would point that comment more to the direction of Mage. Well, since I don't know either of you well enough yet, um, I'll just, you know, punish both well, of you. Well, there is something there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's an inch where he accidentally you're cutting out. There's interference! Interference from this sunlight radiation or shit. Uh, I just found some uranium. Uh, yeah, I've got some uranium too. Uh, do you have a refining center? So yeah, don't trust Biohazard either. He blew up a station. It is rather primitive, I guess, for you guys, but it's in the cargo area. Aha, uh -huh, I see. Downstairs. Found it. Alright, so let's do the uranium stuff first. The gold ore, then the trinium ore, then the cobalt ore, then the stone. Then I'll put the ice in its thingy. Do you know where the thingy is? Uh, yes, I uh, saw it when we came from our time, so... Oh, I suppose you are rather familiar with the base, aren't you? Uh, quite. But some of the stuff is different. Uh... Oh, yeah. Well, I did accidentally put someone in a binary. Yeah, that... We don't speak about that, ever. Hey, the stuff you did! Like the time you blew up the freaking station! I didn't blow up a station. You, up. you I overloaded the reactors! I didn't! There was a mild weather problem and they overloaded themselves. This is not filling with me with confidence. <laughs> <laughs> don't let me near refineries and don't let him near reactors. There. Settled. Case closed. No, I'm I'm great with refineries, actually. I'm refined. Uh, no, not ref ah, blah, 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 blah. reactors, I mean. But Mage is terrible with refineries, that is true. Well, you, well you're terrible with reactors because you blew up our station. <laughs> It was already blown up. I just completed. It already blown up when I was sitting down watching bloody TV. <laughs> <laughs> but here we go. Uh, I'm just gonna refill the reactors. Oh, I put too much dead, everyone. Well, at least you're alive and myself. Yeah, but everyone else there died. 
Uh, That's why we were in the situation in the first place as surveyors, because they fired us. Yeah, well. We found a scrap heap of a job. Well, I'm calling the privilege to work here with me in my time a scrap no. heap of a job. No, I meant by surveying the galaxy in a very, very messed up, rudimentary, very old ship, beat up. Well, one thing is great about this entry is at least that ship isn't born yet for hundreds of years, so that's good news. I would rather that you would have come in it, so we could use your, uh, it's advanced hard to gear. A big, it's hard to fit a ship to an airlock and then into a stargate. Yeah, it was a bit difficult to get it down the stairs, you know. Yeah, it's a bit too fat. Yeah. Alright, so I've got us uh, some... I mean, yeah? How come you, you guys went through that without any supplies at all? Um, well... It's protocol. Yeah, because you see, Mage pushed a button. We were curious. We were bored. So we came here. That makes no sense at all. Uh, well, to be fair, uh, we are surveyors, so we thought we'd survey what's going on inside the thing. And uh, we didn't expect to be thrown 400 years in the past. So you're so telling me you military. didn't even pack, like, extra food or yes, anything? Yes, ship that is floating somewhere, or that hasn't even been made. Yeah, I'm still trying to wrap my head about that one. Um, yeah, the food is in the ship, basically. Yeah. You guys must be the worst surveyors in the entire galaxy. Well... You haven't heard of Billy and Bob. They were the worst. Yeah, they... They, they... endangered an entire capital ship by running into it. <laughs> did they, no, no, no. Did, did they ran the capital ship into an asteroid? That's what happened. They accidentally hacked into it. I don't know how you can accidentally hack something. <laughs> That's true. Um, but yes, yeah, see. Like the future is. Oh, you well, want to know how messed We're doomed in it. Uh, yeah, but you know, there's a couple of nice stuff in the future, like the uh, new Star Wars movie, Star Wars Twenty, and. Uh, Star Wars Twenty. It was Star Wars. Oh yeah, it was 20. I haven't watched Star Wars in a long time. Yeah, that's true. But the thing is Star Trek died. Oh uh, yeah, that's that's the sad thing. It was overwhelmed. <laughs> yeah, Star Wars really took away any sort of revival from Star Trek. It was sad. Yep. Plus, really, Star Trek was really in the past. Yeah. So there's really no need. <laughs> well, technically it's in the future. Ho hopefully, you guys, if you do what I say, can help me make the future better, different. That'd be pretty nice, cause, yeah. But what about all the space-time continuum laws? Uh, was set in Geneva <laughs> years ago. Well, well, they... If you were following those, you would not have contacted me. You would have just, like, tried to hide and go away and whatever. Well, it was a bit difficult seeing as you met us in your thing, but yeah, true. Well, you should have just said that you're just passing through and going to leave, and that's it. <laughs> Oh, well, we're, we're not ordinary people, so... Yeah. Yeah, the I take it IQs in the future isn't that high? No, no, well, the thing is, you're the... Well, we asked you if you're the only guy here, you said yes. So, 
the risk of exposing the timeline to major changes is minimal with just one person. Oh, wait. Don't say that. Where is anyone else? Everyone else. Why not? <laughs> because you have no idea what you're talking about. Well, <laughs> in, in the log, I heard it, the log was made about 500 years ago that it was protocol. We have at least three people on board the station. Why are you the only one here? I told you. I'm... I was left here. I'm the gu uh, guardian of this place. Or did you... What did I... what? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> who cares? We're all freaks. You're a freak, I'm a freak, he's a freak. Well, he's a super freak, but... Super freak! Super freak! He's super freaky! Oh wait, I should really be putting that in a refinery, shouldn't I? Yes, that would be preferable. Preferable? Preferable? You said prefer- you said preferable. Preferable. Well, I'm- I'm preferable. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Refinery. Yeah, same here. Good with Did I somehow put a man inside one? Uh, I can guess that. Okay, guys, we finally have high oxygen again. Finally. Well, I'm gonna take off my helmet. Same here. <sighs> oh, that's so much better now. Same here, and I needed to get out of that helmet, cause my suit stank like a biatch. My moisture pores... My helmet are not working at well. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Right, so we've got the resources. What are we going to do now? Uh, well, I suggest we try to build a mining ship to make more ships, Ooh. to make more stuff, to make everything better. Ah, interesting. <gasps> Um, oxygen deprivation, but it's fine now. Oh. oh, you don't want the oxygen deprivation. Wait! Wait, are these suits, are these old suits pressurized? They yes. have an adequate pressure, okay, good. Because there were, there was issues with the newer models. Let's say some people exploded. Yeah, uh, S Steve didn't make it. His eyes popped out. Yeah, the, his pressure system was faulty. His eyes popped out. Basically, everything popped out. Macy's, Macy's, they sometimes they forget to do the pressure system. Aha. Uh -huh. Alright, so, uh, should. Macy's makes the suits? Yeah. So, uh, should I. Yeah. Uh, don't forget to put on your helmets when you're going outside, mage. Uh, Coromus. Uh, <laughs> Alright. Yeah, you're mage. Uh, should I maybe build the mining ship because I have some knowledge in building mining ships? Yeah, I just have knowledge in building fighters, that's it. Yeah, I'm the actual engineer, mage is more of a military advisor. Well, you both take orders from me, so... that That's what I'm saying, I'm offering my expertise as a mining aficionado. Uh, Corimus, uh, did you die? No. <laughs> May I ask, how do you put back your helmet on? Uh, J. Oh, that works. Don't, don't, close the door, close the door, close the door! 